Two. Oh. Thomas knocks it down, has time, and nips Lagaris at first for the second half. And here comes Terry Collins. He is going to come out and leave open the possibility of putting in a challenge. So the Mets will get their video coordinator hard to work. He'll communicate with the dugout. And this is the way it goes now. It's not about arguing with the umpire. It's about killing some time and yeah. waiting for word as to whether you want to challenge the call. You see Terry looking back into the dugout. I, I honestly didn't think that play was close at first. I thought he was out um, easily. But and we'll see. Apparently the Mets are challenging. It's the eighth inning. You've got that challenge to use. And I think that's part of the strategy on a close play. And we'll take a look at it here. And he beat it. So this may be Good. overturned. Wow. How about that? So quick work by the Mets in their video room and getting communication to Terry that this call might be overturned. Very and nice. Again though if it's the second inning do you challenge that same call. No no because you're trying to identify and this is the most difficult thing for the managers. You're trying to identify when is that time that it's going to be the most fruitful to use uh, that challenge and as you get to the end of the game sometimes you're figuring this might be my last chance. But of course if you win the challenge then you get another one but the question is not always whether the play was called incorrectly but whether there is now clear and convincing evidence to overturn it clear and convincing and if it is not then you're stuck with no challenges left right. You know the, the umpires can use their discretion of course but, but only from the seventh inning on agreed which is where we are now so the play under review brought to you by Mazda. And so we wait for the folks back at Major League Baseball advanced media in New York where an umpiring crew is in front of the same video monitors that the Mets video coordinator saw to encourage Terry to challenge the call and it certainly appears as though it should be overturned appears but is that clear evidence well it's clearer than the one at second base that the Mets won the that's other right. day that's right you're right but I'm wondering why this is taking as long as it is because again the folks at MLB advanced media are looking at 12 different angles and some of them are from our broadcast some of them are from the Braves yeah. TV broadcast and those can be different ones. So we'll see. Certainly the angle we have shown a couple of times certainly appears to indicate that Ligaris was safe. And to let you people know at home they are showing it on the big screen here. Yes they are. Which is pretty interesting. Well they've allowed uh, that to happen this year. That yeah. was part of the uh, part of the deal in instituting an extended replay. But. But I'm wondering why this is taking so long to determine. Yeah. You know what I like about this though is that showing it on the board is letting the fans know what is being reviewed. Except which is, they just showed a different angle that we don't have on right. the big board here and it appeared to show that he was out. But it was yeah. not it wasn't as good an angle as the one that we had. And you see that guy in the background saying oh it, it shows he's out. But I, from what we showed it doesn't look that way. So. Well. Ligaris is an interested uh, observer because he could get a base knock here. If they call him safe. Uh oh. This is a communications thing now. One of the umpires is supposed to tell the press box what the call is, and they have overturned the call. Ligaris is safe, so the Mets are now two for two in their challenges. So Ligaris will get credit for an infield hit as Thomas was unable to field the ground ball cleanly, and Ligaris beat the play at first. And now we're going to get a pitching change as Freddy Gonzalez is on his way out to the mound. So the Mets getting the call overturned in their favor and the former Met Pedro Beato will come out of the bullpen for Atlanta with two men on here in the eighth with the Mets up three nothing. We'll be right back to Atlanta.